Do I look like a teacher? Is this better? Uh, I don't know. Is this worse? I feel like this might be better. No, maybe now I look like a teacher. Nope, I'm changing back. Okay. Yeah, I think this is better. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to today's vlog. All I know is I'm going to spend money. But really, <laughs> okay, but really I'm going to Barnes & Noble because they're having their sale. It's like hardback sale. I don't really know what the sale is, but I heard there's a sale, so I'm going. I'm there. I have two Barnes & Noble gift cards that I got for Christmas, so they are burning a hole in my pocket, so we have to spend them right now. I don't really know if I'm going to buy anything. Actually, that's a lie. I kind of know I want to buy the um, Second Divine Rivals book. It's the Ruthless Flat... It's Ruthless... R ruthless? Ruth... Ruth... Ruthless, jeez, Ruthless Vows. I want to buy that, and that's a hardcover, hardback, so that should be on sale. And then the rest, I'll just look around. I kind of want to buy a new Olive E. Blake book, and I know they have those in hardback, like the Masters of Death, and then the other one, <laughs> the one about like Romeo and Juliet. I can't think of it right now, but I want to get those, so I might just look around. I don't know. I don't need to buy any more books, but I have gift cards, so it's free. So basically, what I'm telling myself is that if I buy books today with like my Barnes and Noble gift cards, I am not going to buy books in January. But don't hold me to that, I might still buy books in January, but I'm really going to try to like cut back on buying books because I just went book shopping. I feel like I need to read a lot of the books on my TBR right now, but instead I'm going to go buy books. So then after that, I'm not going to buy books, so that way I read the books on my TBR. Does that make sense? I'm just like trying to read the books I have and not like continuously buying more books and more books and never reading the ones that I have, you know? So that's why I might go on a book buying ban in January, but I'm not very strict on that yet. I really wish Barnes & Noble did like a paperback sale. If they had a paperback sale, like, they would make so much money. I don't know why they don't do that. It would be chaos though. Like imagine, imagine that. Like a paperback 50% off sale. It would be chaotic. Everyone would be going. I would be going, but I just know I would love that. I don't know why they don't do a paperback sale, maybe because they don't want to, <laughs> but I think it'd be smart. I don't really buy hardbacks that much, honestly. I don't really like them that much. I don't like to, like, hold them and read them. I like how they look on my shelf, but I don't really like to read them, but I still buy them because they're cute. And I love when they do, like, a cool, like, cover on the actual hardback cover, not, like, the slip sleeve. Is that what it's called? Slip sleeve? Whatever. Like, the Divine Rivals one, they have, like, a picture of it's like a gold typewriter on the actual hardback cover and that is so cute like I literally took off the sleeve and like I don't even know where it is because the actual hardback is so cute like I like when they do that I hope they did that on the new Divine Rivals one or Ruthless Vows I hope that one has like a typewriter on it too I haven't even like looked at that or seen anything about it yet because I know that one just came out recently I think Barnes Noble has like an exclusive one too so maybe I'll look at that, but if it if the other one like has a typewriter or something, I want that one so it matches my original. Or not my original, but like the first one in the series, you know? I'm sweating in this. Oh my gosh, sorry if the lighting's terrible. Let me show you. I literally have one light bulb left. <laughs> Only one is left. Uh, the rest are all burnt out. These the one I took out so I could buy a new one, and the other one I just haven't had for probably months. But don't worry, today I am going to also go to Target and get new light bulbs so hopefully the lighting in here will be better because I won't just have one light bulb lighting up my whole bathroom so okay I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I'll see you like in the car or when we get to Barnes Noble
Okay. Hello. I need to skip back. I don't like the way I just said that. Hello. <laughs> Okay. okay, we just got out of Barnes & Noble, but we both got one of these blind date with a book things, so we're going to open them on camera, but let's read them first. Mine is, because right things happen at the wrong time, a cozy fantasy. That's way longer. Um, enter a labyrinth of dark neurosis, an isolated and positively murderous family, and the core and the struggle that ensues when a cousin arrives. Horror. <gasps> All right, let's open them. I like a good it's horror Christmas. Book. I was so scared. I thought this was one that I owned. I don't. We're chilling. Ooh. Ooh this is an interesting cover. You have always lived in the castle. Ooh. Bookshops and bone dust. <gasps> I own the first one. This is the first one? Yeah. Or I don't know if or it's like, like the first. Though? Yeah. It's um. Legends and Lattes. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. Oh, right here. Legends and yeah. Lattes. Oh. I own that one. But now we have both. So we, we can both. share. I like that they choose... Barnes and Noble wrapping paper, but but then do put the, it white. On the white. <laughs> so I guess that they, they can, can write write on it. it. Yeah. But this is cute. This, this is, is a cool cover. So yeah, I like that the whole, it's one of those covers that's like oh, and it's those frayed pages. That's like when you open it, it's continuous. <gasps> that's so cute. Yeah, I like that a lot. Come on, mom. Oh, and oh, it's a Penguin Classics. I love Penguin Dis Publishing Company. Well, I'm excited to read this eventually. Very slay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay, we're back home. <laughs> okay, we're back home, and we're gonna give you a haul. Should we go one at a time? Sure. Or like mine and then yours. That's one at a time. I meant like all of mine. Oh, and then all of yours. We can go one at a time. That's fine. Okay. We also got the. You don't have your bag, but it's that's fine. fine. We also got each a bag. Mine's gray and hers is black. Picture her, but black. Same thing. Okay. Well, you saw our blind date with the book ones already, so we got these. <laughs> This book. Uh, this one. Oh, I, I forgot about this book. <laughs> <laughs> the Before the Coffee Gets Cold, the Solid. Barnes Noble Exclusive Edition. So I guess like this part's different. Yeah, it is. Because I have the original copy. Yeah, but it slays. I don't really know much about this book though. Have you read it? No, I just own it. I haven't read it yet. Mm. It's on my TBR. What would you change if you could travel back in time? Intrigued. Okay, now you can go. So I have the first. So the first one I've got is letters to a young poet. Our mom was like, "Um, Maddie, you need to read this." So yeah, she's like, "Have you ever read this?" And yeah. I was like, "No." Yeah. So <laughs> now it's now we own it. It's, it's cute. It's it is cute. It's a little little, little read, a little hardback. So it was on sale. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Barnes and Noble was doing. You saw, but a fifty. Some of them were fifty percent off. Some, some of them were like thirty three. And then you got like twenty dollars if you spent fifty, mm -hmm. which we did. So <laughs> trust, <laughs> you will see. Okay, and then my next one is the one for my enemy by Olive Blake. This is the girl that wrote that was six, and I really want to read some more by her. And I heard this one's like a Romeo and Juliet retelling, mm -hmm. so I'm excited. And she always has such cute the art is yeah like illustrations really in her book and stuff. I love it. Oh. And it is a hardback, so it's on sale. Six one is not a hardback, but trust the newest Heartstopper novel, volume five. I block you. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It just came out, um, or it came out a little bit ago, and so I have all the other four. So I picked it up. I'm gonna be borrowing them because yes. I want to read them. They're really read them. I feel like they're like quick reads because they're graphic. Novels. Yeah, they're graphic. Yeah, very. And I've never read a graphic novel, so I'd they're like so cute. To try that. It's a cute little time. <laughs> but for those who know, you know, it's not always so cute. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, then I got Powerless, which I've been wanting to buy for a while. Have you heard about Powerless? Yeah. Yeah, it's like a new thing to see enemies to lovers. I've heard a lot of good things about it, but I've looked Ooh. for it everywhere and I haven't found it till now. And I like Barnes the and Noble came through. I like this on the cover. It's so cute. I love when books do that. I yes. Because I think this one, this next one, I when love when books do that. And trust the dust jacket will be coming off. Yeah, when, when I'm I read reading it, it so. I do it all the time. Yeah, so that's really cute. I'm excited to read this. Keep one. the dust jacket on on a hardcover while you're reading it. I can't trust you. No, sorry. <laughs> but okay, my next is the special edition annotated version of Archer's Voice. It's so pretty. It is gorgeous. It's got the the red pages. Okay, washer. Um, that sounded like... <laughs> I thought someone fell. Yeah. Um, it's one of my favorite books of all time. Yeah. The cover... Oh, the, the daisy. Gorgeous. Yeah. That is really cute. Oh, I, got the, I got a... I was going to say, I had the sweatshirt that I got for Christmas of this on. 
That's like your one of your favorite books. But it is one of my favorite books of all time. So that's so cool. Like I wonder like what the annotations are like. Cause I've never I, bought I, a book like yeah, that. Yeah, I like skimmed through it, and it's like yeah, little things. The first one was oh Travis, how could you? <laughs> For those who know, you know. Yeah. Simply will not be picking up the Travis book though. Was it? I have it. I don't want to read it. Here. I don't. I don't support him. Hold on, let me find it. Hey. <laughs> I, I want to read it. it. I want to see if he's like redeemed. <sighs> I don't want to redeem him. <laughs> Well, me neither, but he messed up. there's a whole book about it. <laughs> For those who know, you know. Anyways. That, but yeah, Archer's voice. Anyways, yes. Incredible, okay. impeccable. If you haven't re read it, read it. Okay, my next two are a little bit of a... There are two for one. Two for one, and I, I'm not planning on reading these anytime soon, but the reason I bought them is because of the covers. They're so gorgeous. So they're the Crescent City books, both of them, and they're the special... Barnes & Noble exclusive editions. And I have severe FOMO, so it's like, I need to buy these now because if they are not available by the time I want to read them, I'm going to cry. So I just went ahead and bought them, and they're beautiful. They are gorgeous. And I'll get to them eventually. I have to read Akatar I'll probably first. read them before you. Yeah, probably. But they're going to look so cute on my shelf. They will look cute. And I will read them eventually. And they're only $20 per book, so I feel like that's not bad. No. For this thick of a brick. Thick of a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Ryan. They're so pretty. I, need, I needed them. They are gorgeous. Um, so, I'm a theater major. <laughs> so, the rest of my books are plays. The first one I picked up was basically all of Sam Shepard's discography. Everything that he... I think it's every play that he has written. So, I picked that up because Angel City and Suicide in B Minor are put plays that I wanted to read. So, I picked that up. Very excited. Oh, I forgot. I was going back to me. <laughs> one by one. Okay, I have one more, but it's like a box set, so it's really like four. I've got three left. But I got the Hunger Games. I got the Hunger Games box set because I've never read the Hunger Games. Isn't that crazy? Shocking. Never read them. I know. Yeah. And it has the new one too, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, and I really liked. It. I've I've seen all the movies, but I want to watch the books. I mean, read the books, way and better. then maybe I can like read the book and watch the movie and like see. Mm -hmm. The That'd books be a are fun way better, video, in maybe. my opinion. So yeah, that's what everyone says. So now I own them, and you know it'd be so cute. When I have kids and they're like looking at my bookshelf and they're like, Mom, like, I can be like, read this and read Harry Potter. Yeah. And like, I can give them my books. Like, that's so cute. Like, Mom did for me. Yeah. <laughs> before like, that's Morgan, so precious. Before Morgan started reading. Yeah. Hot take, guys. Morgan wasn't always a reader. <laughs> Anyways, I've got three. I'll just rapid fire them. Um, Cat on the Hot Tin Roof, obviously, it's a staple. Then, of course, Streetcar Named Desire, another staple. I've heard of that one. This one, <laughs> so good. I have read it, but I only had a PDF of it. So I wanted my own hard copy. So is that, that do they do that in Victorious? Because I feel like that's the only reason I know that book, or that play. Maybe. I don't know how I know that. Honestly, don't remember. But I then I also picked up Proof, which I'm very excited to read. She's so skinny. Yeah, she is skinny. <laughs> she's a little, she's a little play. Um, but it's based, I'm pretty sure this one's based off of a book. I have to do more research on this, so don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure this is based off a book. Oh, math. But so good. Very excited <laughs> oh, to read Oh, Proof it. like math. Right? Yeah. I didn't know. All I saw was proof. Yes. Proof like math, but also inheritance. Educational. That's good. And I'm like, <laughs> Christmas <City. laughs> Why too? <laughs> All right. Well, that's everything we got. So thank you so much for watching this video. And subscribe if you want to see more content. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>